So I work as a clinical therapist. I work in foster care. I'm a program director for foster care. I work with a lot of troubled teens. So how many of those kids have you worked with, say, in the past year or two that are direct victims of? Right. Well, when I first started, I had about 40 kids on my caseload, and I'd say about 20% of them. Mm had some kind of sex trafficking going on. Some of it was their own parents. Some of them were brought over here from coyotes. That's what I was about to ask. Another thing is I feel like areas that are war torn or let's say even hit with natural disasters where people are misplaced from their homes Mm -hmm. would be like a prime feeding ground for that type of activity, right? Like hurricanes or let's say like what's going on in Ukraine right now. I mean, how easy is it to report a kid missing, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, when you got a war going on, but they're really just, you know, kidnapped. And Was there a spike after, like, the tornadoes we had here? Did you notice anything like that? Or? Well, it was a homeless that was under the bridge before they moved all of them. There was a lot that was down there. Mm. And then um, I actually had one that went AWOL, and she went back to it because she just didn't. Yeah, so they get kind of... They see it as, yes, and brainwashed. Yeah. Before we get too far away um, from this topic, uh, you know, um, if, if someone is experiencing, you know, this, uh, how can they reach out to you or re- who, who, where do they go? Well, I mean, they can go to um, those safe houses that they have. Um, they can go online and look it up. I mean, if they don't have access to any of that, of course. Um, I mean, they can contact me. 